And now an update on the story of the untimely death of muckraking journalist Michael Hastings. He died just a week ago. Just hours before the car crash that cost him his life in Los Angeles, Hastings allegedly sent out the following email to colleagues at BuzzFeed. It says, the feds are interviewing my close friends and associates. Perhaps if authorities arrive at BuzzFeed GQ, it may be wise to immediately request legal counsel before any conversations or interviews about our news gathering practices or related journalism issues. Also, I'm onto a big story and need to go off the radar for a bit. All the best. Hope to see you soon. Michael. The email was leaked to KTLA by Staff Sergeant Joseph Biggs, who received the email and met Hastings while he was embedded in Afghanistan. While BuzzFeed has confirmed that Hastings thought the FBI might be looking into him, other recipients of that email have not confirmed its content. Meanwhile, the FBI has issued a statement denying that it has out, had opened an investigation into Hastings. The Los Angeles Police Department has said that it found no evidence of foul play at the crash site either. Now, Hastings was best known for looking deeply into major structure powers um, like the military and the government and his refusal to fawn over powerful people. Perhaps his most well-known story was a profile of General Stanley McChrystal, who was the commander in Afghanistan before Hastings' Rolling Stone article called The Runaway General forced his resignation. Hastings came into the RT studios to discuss many of his media colleagues' responses to this story. The Pentagon press corps, um, the national, some national security reporters, uh, who who were sort of the ones who were the most sort of vocal about it. Uh, and look, as a journalist, look, I, I criticize people all the time. Just as in life, Michael Hastings' death raises questions about the actions of the powerful.